When Apple introduced Logic 10, they introduced a really cool new feature called Drummer Tracks. Drummer Tracks were a unique track type never before seen in Logic or any other DAW. A drummer track basically gave you control over a personal virtual drummer who played different types of acoustic drum kits. Tied to the drummer tracks was a new instrument called the drum kit designer. Let me show you. I'm going to create a new, new track, go to drummer. And under the genre, as long as I choose rock, alternative, songwriter, or r and I'm going to get a drum kit designer software instrument. So I'm going to choose R&B and say create. And it creates the drummer track here. And over here on the inspector, I'm going to open up the drum kit designer. The drum kit designer allows you to choose from many preset acoustic drum kits with vintage sounds. It also gave you the ability to customize these kits by changing out parts of the kit and complete control over how the drum parts were mixed within the performance. As great as this feature was, it didn't address the popularity of a different kind of drum, one that was not acoustic but electronic. There weren't drummers or drum kits for drum machines. In a later update of Logic, Logic introduced Drum Machine Designer, which was based on the same premise as the drum kit designer, but from the perspective of a drum machine. Drum Machine Designer lets you build custom electronic drum kits from a wide selection of drum and percussion sounds. It also provides controls that change the sound characteristics of each piece of your kit and is compatible with the general MIDI standard. Let's look at how you can open a drum machine designer. I'm gonna get rid of this drummer track with the drum kit designer on there. Now, there are two ways to actually open up a drum machine designer in Logic. You can either Create a new track and go under drummer and choose electronic or hip hop. Either of those two will create a drummer track, just like with the uh, drum kit designer when I chose R&B. But instead of using drum kit designer, it will now use drum machine designer. That's one way. The other way is if we just create a software instrument track, which is the way I'm going to go here in this tutorial. Later on, I'll come back to the drummer tracks. We're going to just create a software instrument track and say create. And then here in the inspector, I'm going to change it from alchemy and I'm going to go down and choose drum machine designer. And drum machine designer opens up. Let's take a quick look at the interface. The interface basically has two parts, the drum grid, which is here at the top. And at the bottom, you have your smart controls. If you don't see the smart controls area, just make sure you check this disclosure triangle. If it's folded, it'll hide the smart controls and I'm gonna click it so it can open it. So the drum grid has 32 cells. Each one of these is a cell. You can click in the cell to play the sound that's on that cell. And there are two pages of cells. So here are 16 here, and then there's this little dot or this arrow. If I click it, it'll go to the second page, and I've got sounds here. I also have some empty cells that don't have any sounds on them. Go back to the first cell. Now, at the bottom here in the smart controls area, these update according to the currently selected drum kit. Right now I have the big room drum kit selected. By clicking this bar up here, that selects the entire drum kit. And so these parameters here in the smart control areas allow me to edit those parameters for the entire kit. If I wanna edit parameters for a particular drum sound, I click on the drum sound. And now I can edit just for the kick or just for the snare. But if I want to do the entire big room kit, I click here and then I can edit the big room kick. Just to demonstrate how easy it is to use it, I'm going to uh, record in a simple sequence. I'm going to short my cycle down to four bars and hit record.
just like that. Use drum machine designer to create a simple drum pattern. 